that you don't need to start your Shopify trial. What is up guys, Thaddeus here. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I apologize for my weird hair, but in today's, oh, that looked worse. In today's video, we're gonna talk about a few things that you guys should be doing before you even start your Shopify trial, especially if you're just new to this space. This is more for you. If, if you know, you're already really familiar with everything, then you can get away with it. But guys, if you are new to Shopify, if you are new to dropshipping, if you're new to e-commerce, there's a few things you want to do before you start your trial, and I'll explain why right now. So when you start your 14-day free trial, that's that's a countdown, guys. So that is a countdown timer until you need to give your money to Shopify, and you're basically forced to make your website go live. Now, if you aren't ready to go live, there's no point in going live, right? So again, if you're just getting started, right, you don't want to be put on, you know, kind of this timer when you when you don't need to be, okay? So the one thing that you should be doing is you should be getting everything else figured out before you even bother with Shopify, like before starting the trial, okay? Because you know it's there. You know you can do that whenever. The only actual reason you need to start the trial is to actually just make the website and download the apps, okay? You guys can have everything else planned out before you even look at Shopify, before you even go to Shopify's website, okay? So what do I mean by that? So first of all, domain, you wanna make sure you actually have the domains ready. Again, you're not gonna use the my Shopify domain that Shopify gives you when you start your trial. You're never gonna use that, okay? So again, if you're a beginner, you never use that, okay? You wanna be professional with your stores. Now, Next, you want your social media handles to also correlate to your domain, okay? So basically, like, like again, with, with whatever, like, everything I preach, right, and kind of, like, creating a unique branding strategy around your stores, you want continuity. You want flow around everything you do, especially customer-facing, right? So when customers see your brand, see your company, what are they seeing, right? So again, your domain should be correlative to your social media handles. Again, you shouldn't be having, like, a bunch of numbers and a bunch of underscores in, you know, all your... Um, Social media hands, like your Instagram is primarily the one that I'm talking about because that's where you will potentially drive a lot of traffic either with shout outs or paid um, sponsored posts down the road, okay? So again, you want that continuity, which again, you can figure out everything out before you even start your Shopify trial, okay? Next, guys, product. This is probably the most important thing. You actually, like you don't need to start your Shopify trial like to figure out what you want to sell, okay? So basically to do that, right, there's all these different programs, there's a bunch of different ways and methods to actually figure out, you know, hey, what, what product do I want to sell? I'll make a whole nother video for that, um, but like the gist of it, right? So there's like you dropship buy, there's Pexta, um, there's all these softwares. You can go on AliExpress and look at, you know, the best sellers for the month, the week, um, stuff like that to kind of see what's trending. There's 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 softwares, guys, and there's there's free resources as well that kind of give you an idea that you can gauge how well a certain product is doing in the current state of the market um, to kind of see, hey, what's trending, blah, blah, blah. Even Google Trends, guys, I've made videos on that before, like just doing research, right? Thinking, right? Getting creative and thinking of something that not necessarily everyone's using, but it could be popular, right? Because again, with dropshipping, you can sell anything. You could sell toilet paper and make a lot of money if you knew how to do it, if you know how to market it well, okay? So again, just figuring out a product, figuring out a space that you guys can get into, and then basically revolving everything kind of around your products, okay? So again, it's not like you don't want to start off picking a name and then having to like force yourself to find good social media handles, force yourself to have to find, you know, products that tie into your name. I've seen people do that before and you don't want to get emotionally attached to anything, guys. This is a store. This is your employee, okay? Think of your dropshipping site as your employee, okay? You tell it what to do, okay? So you don't want to get attached to it. You can cut it off if it's not selling, blah, blah, all that kind of stuff, right? So again, you want to figure out your product first before you really do anything else, okay? So you wanna figure out what you're gonna be selling, what niche you're gonna be selling. I usually, you know, I go for, for niche stores. I don't really do general stores um, too much uh, for, for, for a variety of reasons, but you wanna figure out what you're going to sell, okay? And then using whatever methods you wanna use, Google Trends, AliExpress, Dropship Spy, there's a link in the description if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, but you can use anything like that to figure out what's trending in the current state of the market in your niche that you're interested in selling in, okay? Again, you wanna have a few niches like in mind just so that you guys can kind of see and gauge what might be performing better, okay? Because again, like a cat niche or dog niche, I've seen so many of you guys DM me about that stuff. That's not necessarily the best just because it's so saturated, okay? And what I mean by that is like, you might be able to find a few influencers to do shout outs and whatnot, but when you really try and get to the big money, right? Scaling with Facebook ads and Instagram sponsored posts and AdWords and all this kind of stuff, you're competing with people that have been selling your same product or similar products for, for years and years, okay? So they've been, like, they know they've been selling that same product for a long time now, for the most part, okay? And so because of that, it makes it a lot more challenging for you guys to kind of enter that space, okay? So that's why I want to say like, hey, you want to find products that are, you know, up and coming or that are just like new or that, you know, don't have 
um, like extreme, extreme saturation. Because again, you want to look for competition. That's good. It means there's money in the market. But you don't want to have something so generalized that that it's just like almost ludicrous to do. Like like cat niche, right? Obviously, you can go deep into cat. You can sell dog collars, right? And have a whole story about dog collars and do that. And I'm sure that would perform well. But if you just are super generalized in your niche, um, basically, it's not really a niche. It's just an industry at that point, okay? So again, you want to figure out your product. Okay, and then revolve everything around that your social media handles your domain all that kind of good stuff and then After all that stuff is done guys You can look at starting your Shopify trial because again the only reason you need that trial is to actually just literally make the website and install the apps Okay, that's the only point because again once that's done you already have everything else like sorted Okay, basically everything else is there done and ready um, The only thing left at that point would be to you know install your Facebook pixel code or your ID Into Shopify's backend so you can begin collecting data so that you can use that to eventually scale with lookalike audiences and whatnot um, Based on you know who's who's coming to your website and everything so that's the gist of it guys It's again not a super long video, but but it's super important because I see a lot of people. It's like I see a lot of new people that are trying to enter the space, right? They'll say, "Hey, I started my Shopify trial. I only have a day left. My site's not really ready. I don't know what to do yet. Um, I, I'd like like they're, they're just lost and confused, guys. And the thing, right? That is like, don't stress, okay? You don't need your Shopify trial right away. That's that should be literally like the last thing you guys do before before actually going live, okay? So you should have every, everything else figured out, and then you start your trial, and then and then you go live and start testing products, and then you know get sales, okay? So that's that guys again it's a super quick video but it's something that I noticed that a lot of people reach out to me for and I've seen so I wanted to make a video on that especially for you new people that are entering the space or just hearing about dropshipping or just hearing about e-commerce um, and you know getting uh, making money online selling products that aren't yours so that's the video guys I hope you guys enjoyed leave a like it means so much when you guys um, you know show your support and love um, don't forget to comment I respond to everybody's comments guys and don't forget to subscribe we are doing a video a day and um, it's fun I'm enjoying it and uh, guys don't forget to join the 0 to 1000 wait uh, wait list um, basically me and my buddy Sebastian who also does YouTube we are doing a 0 to 1000 challenge where we're taking a store get into a thousand dollars in sales that is completely free and we also have um, applications and whatnot that will allow you to get access to the zero to 10k challenge and zero to 50k challenge where we are actually taking our store to fifty thousand dollars in sales so that's that guys i hope you guys enjoy the video i will see you guys in the next one take care and peace and last but not least don't forget to check out my social media and follow me for updates giveaways and literally everything that's cool